Wired. Wired Radio, that's how we do it every Saturday. Wired Nation, that's what it is. I got Rebel Black here. What's happening, man? Orlando, Florida. What's good, man? DJ Wire, man. What's poppin', man? Want to say a big shout out to everybody that came out to the Haven Lounge Monday nights. Y'all already know how we do it. Goes down real big. My City Mondays. Big shout out to KMO, PK, the whole crew. It was bananas once again. We make a movie on Monday nights in the O. Yes, sir. But right now we got Bishop Lamont, Mr. Team America on the line. What's happening, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, nigga. Say Team America. I'm good, family. Hey, so man, I had to hit you up, man. That new, uh, that new joint with Rex is is crazy, man. How did that come about? Man, through through uh, his manager, our team. Um, actually, I heard Rex I heard some of his mixtapes, and I just became a fan instantly. And it's just a weird how uh, synergy will work. And next thing I know, from retweeting it, you know, just promoting dope niggas. His manager hit me up like, "Would you want to do something with Rex?" And I'm like, "Of course." And uh, we met up out here in Cali. And it's just been on ever since, man. That's, that's my bro for real. That's family. Now, what kind of new uh, new projects you got in the mix right now? Man, it's, it's, it's too much shit. What's at the top of the pile is just the debut album. You know what I mean? It's been a long, long, long journey. Almost eight years now to finally give the world what they deserve. So, top of the list is the reformation. Um, after that, it's me and Torrey, Planet of the Apes. Um, it's a project I'm executive producing for Dave in New York. Me and Rich Kid got a project. Uh, then, of course, Cal Troy Metropolis, me and Black Milk team up again. Um, me and Rex is going to do something, too. Like, there's so much shit, man, because I've been waiting, and I've been wanting stuff to be right. So it's, it's too much shit, man, but it's a great thing. It's just it's just giving a lot of protein to hip-hop, man, a lot of shit for, for niggas to digest and, and live with and live for, you know what I mean? Right. No doubt, man. We all the way in Florida, and I've been knowing about you for about three or four years. Um, <laughs> like, why is it taking so long for you to have such an underground buzz for you to finally be just dropping a debut album because that's crazy to me. Oh, man, it's, it's it's understanding the business and the politics and it's just kind of like burnout out to express the same thing but since this is our first time communicating then we just break it down again. Signing to Aftermath was the best decision at the same time the worst decision. There was so much shit behind the scenes that people will never understand unless you were there. Uh, budget deficits, <laughs> shit that was old, uh, politics, and you, you know, it becomes not about the music and you gotta sit there. And I just couldn't do it, dog. I waited as long as I could wait, and me and Dre have always under, had that understanding, and I appreciated so much when he gave me my release. It was like, I, I signed in 05, and it was almost 09, and, and no album. I had one single that blew up, and then they shut it down, and it was just like, you know what? That's, that's, that's it for me. This is not what I got into it for. I shouldn't have to go before Congress and go through stress like it's on some government shit to have a project come out that's right and the streets need it so going through that dissolving that situation rebuilding and just enjoying this shit again is what it was about for me so it took time but I, I, I kind of compare it to, to the book of Joe you know what I mean you gotta go through so much shit you know to go to the next level and really receive true blessings of it so that's what it's been for me and, and, and it's gotta be fun if it's not fun for me I don't need to be doing it. I'm making money all kind of other ways. If it's not fun, if it's not right, I can't fuck with it. Do you believe that it was the content of your music that, like, was it a creative difference? It was the creative difference in the sense that you see what I'm about. You see what the records are. But what really, what really outweighs that in the bottom line is it's all about money. And it's all about, I don't give a fuck how dope you are. Jimmy Iovine needs to make money. I don't give a fuck how dope you are. We need detox first. So you gotta wait for your release to come after Detox. Imagine if I still would be there right now waiting <laughs> for my album to come out after Detox. That's what was told to me. Yeah, that's wow, crazy. That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? So people always from the outside criticize and say this and that, but they don't know what that is. To be on a dream team and to be making crazy records every day, guess what? You don't get to keep your records. The producers get tired of sitting waiting for you to do the record, so your hot records end up for another artist. Yeah. So you're looking at videos and hearing your shit on the radio when it could have been your hits. So you're sitting there watching him on tour and 50 on tour. You just sit in the studio, those writing. I'm not into that. I can't be stagnated. So it's like, come on, man. Let's, let's make music or, or, or not do this. We can still be friends. We can still hang out. You know what I mean? The drinks, the laughs and all that shit. But I, I can say how we get down. Now, your first single that they that you uh, you had that was like kind of mainstream, I heard it all over satellite radio, that was Grow Up, right? Yeah. Yeah, can we get into that right now? You want to introduce that to Orlando, Florida? Man, man, bless the pimps with it, man. This is Grow Up, man, produced by Dr. Dre. Some, some, some real true that's always going to be true to the end of the world. Niggas need to grow up. <laughs> I used 
to think fucking up was cool. Love did your class till I didn't pass high school. My dad always said it's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. But all I did was mess up, roll around the streets, get drunk and shoplift. Freestyle, meanwhile, continue to bullshit. A teenage life when you think you know everything about everything and don't know a damn thing. Hit the saw, lick a bank, then the gas station. Get to ducking when they bucking gang altercation. We scattered and come right back. Shit, risking our lives, but never saw it like that. Few blocks down the street, couple fools get capped. Nigga, bullets ain't picky, it could have been a rap. It never hits home until your homie get clapped. You at the funeral with tears saying to yourself, you gotta grow. Uh, way up, 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 way up, way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, 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 you not a kid no more. Nah. I think it's time to grow. Yeah. Homie, you better know. Tell you me. know it's time to grow. Uh, way up, 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 way up, 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 way up. The childish ways are gone. Tell I think you better grow up. You got a Bentley, but can't keep gas in it. A Gucci wallet, but ain't got cash in it. Go out to eat, it's your treat. Then at the last minute, say you forgot it, never had it, won't let me spend it. Now that's an interesting thing Cause in your video you have so much blame A few days ago I heard you pawn that chain Instead of copping that you should've copped the food chain V-necks and mohawks just ain't me Shit it barely look right on Mr. T Your bike can change design of shades just ain't right Especially when you can't breathe cause your pants too tight Whack beats, catchy hooks and little ass kids Add a dance to it and it's gon' be big it's all fault, everything to flip flop. You wanna save hip hop rappers, then you gotta grow. Uh, way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, up. You're not a kid no more. Nah. I think it's time to grow. Yeah. Homie, you better know. Tell you me. know it's time to grow. Uh, uh, way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, up. Cause nigga, you too grown. Right. Get out and get your own. Right. Them childish ways are gone. Tell I me. think you better grow. Niggas still cruising Crenshaw at 36 Your wife at home, you wasting gas trying to bust a bitch At the club, back the young wearing the wrong shit Think you're Chris Brown, but you look like he's sweat, bitch Ain't you got kids to raise instead of acting like them, nigga, at your age Why you wear a wave cap and ain't got waves Wear that shit out in public and on church days And goddamn niggas pull up your pants Got your drawers all out, what you want a strip dance? And homeboy, what you doing in the 5X? You ain't that big, shit's looking like a dress. You bought an iPhone, but live in your mama home. Gotta wait till she's asleep before you can bone. You grown, you know you wrong. But either way, someday, homeboy, you know you gotta grow. Uh, way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, 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 way up, up. You not a kid no more. Nah. I think it's time to grow. Yeah. Homie, you better know. Tell you me. know it's time to grow. Uh, uh, way up, 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 way up. All right, Wired Radio, we back. Wired Nation, that's how we doing it. Still got Bishop Lamont on the line. That was that grow up. Now, Bishop Lamont, what's your situation like now? Are you uh, independent or did you sign with another label? Is it Cash Money now? Which one was it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got everybody now, so. They have signed everybody. Yeah, that, would, that, would be to, that would be ill to be on Cash Money. Can you imagine a record with me and Baby? Wow. That was, man. That would be crazy. Don't, don't, man. Man, yeah. I gotta get on the phone right now. Right. Uh, that single would have to be Ying and Yang. And, um, there's a couple labels on the table. which is just okay. uh, finishing up negotiations. But I'm keeping it independent, man. I've done the lessons that I learned from majors. It really makes no sense to go back to that same kind of situation. Everything is in house. We have all the resources, venture capitalists, all that kind of thing. So I love having my freedom, and I'm a grown ass man. So it's about pushing my agenda 100%. I'm not a kid, so you know I'm not gonna take orders, and niggas can't give me an allowance. I'm an old man, so it's about really pushing the movement in its purest form, and uh, that's what it's about. So everything that's going on in the world today, everything from gun control to the politics and and how do you feel that hip hop is responding to what's going on in the world in general with the real issues that are affecting everyday people? Uh, for the most part, on a larger scale, if we get into percentages, I would say about 
90% of hip hop turns a deaf ear and they got on rose colored goggles. Like they're not even dealing with what's going on in the world. It seems like they rather create escapism music and, you know, stay, stay numb to it. They like, they like to pop pills, you know what I mean? They like to get drunk, they like to get high, and it's like, okay, that's cool, but guess, up. guess what, when you come down, all that bullshit is still going on. And so, we're not doing our job like we used to do, you know what I mean, in the 80s and the early 90s. Usually, the hip-hop records was like, you know, live on the scene, you know what I'm saying? And they were giving you the news play for play of what the conditions were, but now it's not like that. It's like niggas think that they, you know, they can, they can hide in clubs and they can they can hide in their cars and they can hide in their mansions. But when shit really goes down, and it will as it always has, you can't run from that shit. And a lot of things are going to get caught, you know, like deers in the headlights. And that's just the real. Do you think they're turning a blind eye because they just don't have anything to do with it? Or is it because we have a black president? Or it's, I mean... <laughs> 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 that sounds like a CNN question. You know? Right. <laughs> um, you know what? I think you would want to pay even more attention because we have a black president. I wish that my grandmother, you know, both my grandmothers, my grandfathers, uh, could have been here to see that. People still don't realize how amazing and incredible that is for us to have that day come. But you should even pay more attention to politics because even if you feel like it doesn't affect you, it does fucking affect you. Anything going on in America affects you, directly, indirectly. You know what I'm saying? Because what can happen in one elementary school or college or, you know, whatever, a community can happen at yours. And as a matter of fucking fact, it is happening. You know what I'm saying? So People which... get murked every day. Kids getting murked every day. Niggas losing their jobs, losing their cars, losing their houses every day. Jobs are vanishing. You know what I'm saying? Food prices going up. Gas prices going up a lot of shit so it's like no matter what you think it affects you because you got to go to the market right hmm. right and you got to pay for that apartment you got to take care of that mortgage you got to make the car payments come on now crack ain't heavy in the streets like that no more niggas can lie all they want on records and ain't like that no more sure you know what i'm saying you can only put so many pills so what are you really doing how do you so at a, at a certain point the illusions break down and only reality is you know is, is found it's right. like okay now what right how do you feel about the gun control talk right now uh, I'm so pro-guns. I don't, I don't fall for the traps. You know right. what I'm saying? There's certain things in the Constitution that should always stand. They try to hit you with the truth, like, oh, no, no. When we talked about everybody had the right to bear guns, that was when there was militias. No, you're supposed to bear guns just in case your government gets fucked up and go against you. You should always have the right to bear arms. You can't pull that shit on me. Right. What we right. gonna fight with? We gonna, we gonna go hand-to-hand with niggas when they come shooting? Or yeah. if the police come or whatever comes? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what we gonna do when they kick in our door? Hmm. Talk it out. Right, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It seems like right now the media—I don't want to say the government, but the media and certain parts of the government probably—it's like they scare people into giving away their rights. Yeah, you can't trade your—you uh, can't tra- uh, trade freedom for security, so you have neither. Message, message. You know what I mean? Hitler pulled the same trick. You know, yeah, he did. so many years ago, back in Germany, we're getting niggas to roll with his bullshit. So you know, niggas repeat the same formulas, and niggas fall for them because. Most niggas don't read and niggas don't, you know, really pay attention to history. So I ain't, I ain't trying to get our education on deep. It's just a matter of facts. Nah, that's what we do around here, man. But you know what, though? All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> that's I'll what read we... books, homie. I'll read books. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? <laughs> What's funny, though, right now is that how many people don't. It's like nobody's ever picked up a dictionary and seen the word propaganda. And I see a lot of the movies and a lot of TV, you see these Homeland Security, CIA, SUV, all these shows and stuff like that. And it's like, it's just one big commercial, just continuing on from what's going on on the news, just to brainwash you. Right. Absolutely. But, but niggas don't get that because they niggas. <laughs> they don't realize what it is. You know what I'm saying? They really think they live in their own world. They really think what's going on in Israel right now ain't gonna affect them. What's going on in Pakistan, Iran, ain't gonna affect them. Everything in the world is connected somehow, some way. What's going on in China, what's, what's going on in South Korea, or North Korea, like, they don't even get it because they can't see past their block. But they don't realize everything that comes to their block is from everywhere else. It's import and export. But they can't connect the science because all they're doing is watching, you know, BET and motherfucking MTV for these phony ass videos and these, these fake ass lives. So yeah. they just don't know nothing else. Everybody wants to be a star, and they don't realize that the the drones in Pakistan are coming this way real soon. Yeah, they, 
Nah, Florida, they just bought a whole bunch of drones right in our city. I'm not They're supposed to release a couple like in this summer, but there's people going against that. But talking about all that, Bishop Lamont, why don't you introduce that Team America? <laughs> this message. Yes. 
Jackson Even though know he was a nigger America's the best That's why he made Thriller Fuck that bro I kill that hoe Granny got the kids You ain't getting no dough Gotta deal with the terrorists Right now But I'll be back To kill you John and Kate And all them rug rats That ain't a show That shit's fucking square A real American show Is Go to Girls Hell yeah McDonald's till my heart claws Crush back it in and sniff it through a drink straw Let it stick till my sanity stops Then order a hundred candy bars and chips through pink dot And who's the guy for stripping a T-top And let them all have it, man, we won't stop I'ma shoot you in the stomach till your shit drops John Ritter syndrome, make your heart stop Okay, fellas, listen up. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. For years, Adam Sandler has been fooling Americans into believing that all Jews are friendly. If Adam Sandler makes one more movie, everybody will become Jewish. Your first mission is to find Adam Sandler and destroy him. Good luck. All right, Wired Nation, we back. Still got Bishop Lamont on the line. Now, Bishop Lamont, before you go, let them know where they can get at you. Man, uh, sometimes I'm on Twitter. I try to be on there as much as possible, but, you know, real life dictates, you know, physical activity, but you can hit me, you know, at Bishop Lamont. Uh, I'm never on Facebook, but I try. Uh, I, don't, I don't really give a shit about Instagram, but, but I'm here, too. If you want to send me some corny-ass pictures or some real shit, whatever. But, um, yeah, that's, that's about it, man. It's real life all the time, man. Is there a website, Bishop Lamont? <laughs> yeah, that's a bishop of my dot com. Uh, you know, all the war dogs, all, all the all the good shit. It's all there. I forgot, man. You know, we were talking about real shit and then you forget to promote shit. Right. But I mean, you know, you find you find my monkey ass, all that all that shit is there. <laughs> Yo, how did you get the name Bishop, bro, bro? My my auntie is a minister. Uh minister Fay called me and she said one day I'll be a bishop because I have an anointment and, and I need to follow that calling and that's why I say, you know, everything I've been through it's all for a purpose and a reason, and it's a higher level, and it's the truth that has to be spoken. And so that's why it's, 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 it's Bishop Lamont. The last name Lamont, who gave it to me, he was hiding one day years back in the house. And, you know, this is when we was kids, and, you know, so we looking up to school, like, oh, my God, it's new pop. We had a little brother, and the nigga was hiding. He came in like, hey, cuz, hey, cuz, you remind me of the homeboy Lamont. Bishop Lamont, cuz. And I was like, yeah, yeah, Bishop Lamont. And that bullshit stuck ever since. <laughs> Big shout out to Snoop. Snoop. Hey, what do you think about uh, Snoop doing the reggae now? Snoop Lion. How do you? <laughs> we, we talked to yeah, we talked to Warren G, and Warren G was like, "Man, Snoop Lion." Exactly, not Roar, nigga. Lion. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, hey, man, I, I'm not into it, but it's, it's dope that he's doing something that kind of makes sense with all the weed he smokes. And you know, it's art, man. At the end of the day, it's art, man. So. You know, people that enjoy it, you know, enjoy it. It's all just art, man. So, whatever. I'm not listening to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm still on the Snoop Dogg from I'm innocent. I'm yeah. innocent. I'm on the road with the K Snoop Dogg. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not into the reggae. That's what's up, man. Yo, Bishop Lamont, man, before before you, before we let you go, man, why don't you bless us? Bless, bless the Wired Nation with one more joint, man. Something heartfelt, full of truth, brother. You know what, damn, man, um, there's so much dope shit on the latest mixtape that came out in October called The Layover. Um, you know what, I, I, I don't know, man, I let, I let, I let y'all decide. There's so much dope shit on The Layover, so I'm, I'm gonna let you with it, decide something off that. For all the hip-hop heads out there, music lovers, definitely check out The Layover mixtape if you haven't yet. I can't even think of records on that motherfucker, there's so much dope shit, man. Um, I don't know, man, I'll leave it up to y'all. Yo, this your boy Rampage. When I'm in Orlando, I'm checking out my good peoples. Rebel Black, DJ Wide. It's official. Wide Nation. I'm back to the game, watch me do it now Fouls on the beat uh-huh. right now, we here to shut it down Coast to coast right now, I'm here to take the crown Hat to the back right now, I got the straight plan Yeah, I got the industry on smash If you hitting on your boy, you can get your face blast You can tell that promoter, he can call for but my cash Now I'm back to the streets, you can feel my aftermath It's real trouble, I'm back up on the double Independent or major, your boy is going bubble I'm on this hovercraft, floating on this boat, my money stacks, think about this Gino. 
damn, I got shorties off the chain. Everybody hit the floor, yo, I'm on this money train. I'm putting in the work, son, I really can't explain. All these haters on my back need to stay up off my lane. Lay, 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 lay. The streets right now, it's really not easy. The game is messed up, it really ain't easy. I'm back to the grind once again because. Just settled in, preaching to the choir with these great ghetto hymns. I try to school these young cats and mold better men. We're killing it coast to coast, so up jumps the veteran. To splash a little liquid all up on it. Long live the alcoholics, call it what you call it. Rampage shot the kite, I caught it, then I slaughtered. The get down, respect the damn crown. Haters come down when we banging on the sound. The West Coast love it, I'm a boss in Cock Town. Any way you look it, straight up or crooked. A nigga like me ain't with the bullshit, I shook it. Beef get braised, sauteed, and slow smoked. The punchline, I ain't no joke. They got a problem with Tila, dip lightly. I'll plug in a mic, my nigga, and get like me. Don't stop, 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 the streets right now, it's really not easy. The game is messed up, it really ain't easy. I'm back to the grind once again because. These brothers, teary eyed mothers, no food in the cupboards. If the right way don't work, hustlers always finding others. Toting guns to get funds, no sword, but new. Quick to want to show guns. Stick them at the ATM or rob an AM PM. New. Tyshi stick their own best friends. I know a couple fakes out films that love the fool, Nick. Quick to set them up in blood pool, Nick. Better watch your back from all angles. There's too many demons in the city of angels. If devil flips, I'm the exorcist with extra. Clips to wet up shit. Send you back to that fiery pit. Yeah, I'm bishop for a reason. Biblical catastrophes. I slay heathens. Ark of the covenant to God. I'll be speaking. Absolution about a no man. And the streets right now is really not.